Charlie Greenwood, Triple yep. Scout, the founder, the CEO, uh, even though it says Triple Scout, the whole scouting operation yep. right here. It is me. Uh, it is you. Uh, it's been a long few days at Sports Tech Tokyo. <laughs> uh, we, we made it to the end. The closing ceremony is happening right now back out there. Woohoo! Yeah. Um, what'd you learn? What'd you learn? Uh, wow. Um, I learned that Japan's quite different from uh, London. Yeah. Uh, that's for starters. <laughs> uh, I learned that there's a, it's been a, an amazing operation to get so many companies here. Yeah. Uh, that's quite incredible. Um, I think there's you see the sheer number of organisations that are operating in the sports space, yeah. uh, the tech companies. Um, I think one of the th big things is actually there's a lot of companies doing very similar stuff. So for you, as someone who is in this consulting space, as someone yeah. who's kind of trying to figure out what's next, but I don't think what is next in a trend, but who is next that can deliver that, what separates these different companies are all in the same space? What are you looking for to say, well, this is the one out of those eight that I want to work with? I mean, a lot of it comes down to the people. I know, I know it sounds like a cliche, but ultimately, um, who are the people that you're going to enjoy spending time with? Uh, you know, if you look at some of the uh, programs that are out there, especially when they're putting a lot of time and effort into those companies, you want to enjoy spending time with people. Yeah. Um, and so a lot of it comes down to the people. Yeah. It's, it's amazing sometimes, um, actually that's not been the case very often uh, the last couple of days, but sometimes you'll talk to the founders and they're just, it can, it can be very arrogant, very too self-assured, and you're just thinking, this isn't gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter how good their product is, but if it's not gonna be fun to spend time with them, <laughs> then why are you gonna do it? Yeah. Um, so I think people makes a huge difference. I think the other one, when you're looking at the technologies themselves, like, okay, is this, is this genuinely different? Yeah. And when you see something that genuinely is, and you think, wow, that, that can scale more effectively, or that promotes a whole different new way of thinking about something, or a new way of that people can engage with that content or something like now that. How many of those did you actually find here, though? Uh, I would say a few, okay. uh, probably single digits, but okay. a few. Is we, that the right, you know, having done this for a while, is that a pretty good ratio? I mean, it's easier said than done of, you know, from the outside people think, oh, you put a hundred companies here, so you're gonna find a bunch of new technology, but there's only so many ways to integrate. Yeah. So for you, I guess, were you expecting that number? Was that more than you were expecting, less than you were expecting? Uh, I'd say it was, well, I know there's been a, a good element of uh, pre-vetting before yeah. the companies turn up. So uh, I think it's probably in terms of genuinely something that's new and a bit different, is, that was probably about what I was expecting. Okay. What I probably wasn't expecting was that the general baseline was gonna be good, okay. you know, at, at, a, at a, such a good level. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, you know, you're talking about 100 companies, you kind of think, well, there's gonna be quite a few that aren't so yeah. great, but actually, there's a lot of very good companies. Now, not all of them are genuinely innovative. Yeah. Some are just genuinely doing a very good job with some good solid yeah. uh, product. Um, and I wouldn't put that necessarily as highly innovative, I'd just say it's a good business. You know, for you, you're, you're sort of, people are looking to you to say, Charlie, what's the trend? Where is this going? So yeah. where is this going? You know, what are some of the areas that you're looking at and saying, you know, companies in this space, this is the next frontier? Next frontier is big shout. Um, <laughs> the, I think there's a lot of, I mean, you can put it into various buckets. Uh, there's a lot of um, companies and interest around sort of uh, uh, analysis of on-pitch performance, for example, is a, is a good good place. Uh, you know, there's a lot of money that's been raised quite recently. Um, and you, when you see and you hear companies saying, oh, we're doing stuff in stats around sports, you're like, well, there's a bar now that's being set in terms of computer vision and AI and processing and uh, predictive analytics. But if you're not reaching that bar, it's kind of like, well, yeah. you, you've kind of got to be in order to be playing in, the, in yeah. this space. So I think that's a really interesting area. Um, I think other things like uh, sponsorship. So I've done a lot of sponsorship uh, work previously. And you know, there's lots of companies looking at equivalent media value, uh, putting valuations onto a, a sponsorship package. Yeah. Um, I think what you're starting to see now is people starting to move on a little bit and look at sponsorship as a, in the holistic sense. Yeah. It's not just a question of how much media exposure did I get? Well, there's, a, there's other components that go into it. Mm -hmm. And I think a slightly more sophisticated yeah. uh, view of looking at it. So for example, um, 
I did a piece of work a while ago with the lead sponsor of the England soccer team, mm -hmm. and uh, we were talking about it, and he said, well, we're getting approached by all these companies that keep telling us that the valuation of our logo exposure is yeah. worth X. So, well, that's not my objective. My objective isn't logo exposure. Yeah, my yeah. objective is something different. Yeah. It's brand perception change. Right. So uh, that's not just saying that the valuation was that based upon the amount of logos isn't the value that he was going to get out of it. Yeah. And I think people are starting to think more holistically in terms of the brand's objectives, yeah. which I think is a good thing. What made you want to go into this space? You know, you have such a diverse background. Uh, what made you decide, I want to do this on my own instead of attaching myself to somewhere else full-time? Sure. Um, well, I, mean, I guess uh, I, probably about three, four years ago was when I started doing things on my own. Um, before that, I was uh, had what my wife would describe as a proper job because I had a salary uh, at AEG. And before that, I was doing about three, three or four years on, on my own as well. Um, I think, you know, the, the piece of working on my own that I really enjoy is, it's up to you. Mm. Um, which there are moments which you can be like, oh dear, where's the, <laughs> that gets a bit squeaky bum time. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of, you know, I like just having to worry about myself to and make, make sure that the, the contracts are right yeah. uh, as well. I'm quite fortunate in the last uh, probably 12 months, a lot of my work has now moved from being project based to being retained based. Mm -hmm. So you're not worrying about where the next check's coming from. You're just worrying about doing a really great job for the people who yeah. are paying the retainer. So, how are you staying sharp and making sure that you know these people who are on retainer want to keep working with you and can trust you to find the next thing for them? I have to come to places like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get on a plane, I have to go to CES, I have to do South by Southwest, yeah. I have to spend. Uh, hours every day on video conferences with yeah. startups around the world. Um, you try and make sure that you're seeing the most interesting yeah. companies that are there. I think the other part though is it's not just about seeing it, it's about having a, a point of view yeah. and a hopefully a qualified point yeah. of view as well. Uh, because certainly my clients are expecting me to find the companies but they're also expecting me to say company A is better than company B. Right. or. Uh, we should look at this particular investment. These are why it's really reasons why it's really strong. However, mm -hmm. there's probably three areas that we have to watch out for. Yeah. So your little scouting report for him. Yeah, which takes us back to Triple Scout. Yeah, which takes us all the way back to the beginning. All the way back to the beginning. All the way back.